Hello, my name is James Sullivan, and along with Julie Grasso, I'm one of the co-owners of Double or Nothing Reads. We've been doing these monthly newsletters, and we thought this month we would talk about a few trills that our students um, ask us about, and I feel like there are a couple of trill fingerings that um, a lot of people play the wrong way, actually. So in no real order, I just thought I would start with uh, the, the biggest uh, culprit is C to C sharp. Um, a lot of people finger C and do this bottom trill key and that's not quite as, it's preferable to trill your left index finger for C to C sharp. This bottom key that I was just trilling in the wrong trill is actually B to C sharp. And then its little uh, friend up here on top is the C to D trill. And we can do that on the left side and this little guy down here does the same thing. So that's C to D. Um, an interesting one is this little what some people think is a decorative key right here. It actually has a purpose. This side is A flat, if you press it down here or up here, but it actually does two different things. I'm gonna lift my G finger. This trill is for G sharp to A. If you'll see, when I press the bottom part of the G sharp A flat key, it doesn't do anything more than what it does on this side. But if I press that top little decorative part, it holds this ring down so that's out of tune that g sharp to a is much more in tune on the same line a flat to b flat is one that some people have a problem remembering so you just finger a flat and troll your middle finger and then we'll get to a few of the more common ones uh, low C, well, actually, this one's not common. This one involves the banana key, which some people actually think that's decorative too, way down here on the bottom beside the low D key. If you press the D key and then extend the tip of your finger over, so it presses that banana key, it plays low C. So you can actually trill low C to C sharp by holding the banana key down. Most people know low D flat to E flat if you press D flat and hold the E flat key down. That lets you trill D flat to E flat and you have to make sure that this adjustment screw down here is in the right place for that one. G flat to A flat is uh, more common but some people still forget that one. So you finger G flat and A flat at the same time and then trill your G flat finger. And the last one I wanted to remind you about is F to G. You can do it by just lifting your index finger. Or you can do the fork F. But I tell my students, I'm not very good at that, but if you can finger the, the trill, the real F to G, that's always preferable. We have trill fingerings to get, make things easier. When you can do the regular fingering, it's always going to sound better. So I find that when we do a, use a trill fingering, we have to push a little bit more on the air and, and kind of create the tone with our air and the inside of our mouth to make it sound, you know, hopefully as good as or close to as good as the real fingering. So I would, I would encourage you to go down to the bottom of the oboe and you'll quickly find the trill that we can't really do, which is low B flat to B natural. So I, I would encourage you to go and figure out if you can do all the trills. You remember trills can be whole steps or half steps. So start at the bottom on low B flat. The one I just told you, B flat to B natural is really not practical. There's really no secret way to do that. B flat to C is pretty easy. Then we've got B to C. Real fingerings are fine. B to C sharp. And you could go all the way up the oboe and make sure that you know all the whole step trills and all the half step trills. Anyway, I hope that was at least a little bit helpful and we will see you next month. Thank you.